Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today we're gonna to do something really different. We're gonna do three different racks of ribs on three different cookers. It's gonna be a rib smackdown. See which cooker cooks the ribs the best. No sous vide, just barbecue with three different cookers, three different racks of ribs. I'll be right back. No sous vide today. It's strictly going to be a fire cook, so just for barbecue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a rib cook off. We're going to cook three separate racks of St. Louis style pork ribs, and we're going to cook them on three different cookers at the same time. First one is going to be on the Kamado Joe Classic 2 that I just got about a month ago. Second one's going to be on the Pit Barrel Junior cooker that I got about two months ago. And the third one is going to be on the Camp Chef Smoke Pro Pellet Grill that I got about three months ago. So these are all going to be going up against each other. We're going to see which turns out the best rack of ribs on its own. We're going to use some pecan smoke in both the Kamado Joe and the Pit Barrel Cooker Junior. And then we're going to use pecan pellets in the uh, Camp Chef Smoke Pro Pellet Grill. So I'll be right back, right, guys. Before I get this rib smackdown going, I'm going to go ahead and prep these. They've already been pre-cut. These are uh, I got this pack at Costco the other day. Um, they were actually at a really good price. They're already pre-trimmed into the St. Louis style, so I don't have to do any trimming. I'm just going to open these up, wash them off a little bit, see if the membrane, the membrane might not even be on them. If there is a membrane on the back, I will pull it off, and then we're going to season them up. So let me go ahead and get these prepped. I don't want to bore you with that, and then we'll see. Hey, all, if you've never done this before, it's really easy. You take the uh, rack of ribs, and you can start the uh, membrane at the top with a knife. Start pulling it away. Take a paper towel, and you should be able to just relax right a hold of it and pull it straight down the back of the rib. It's really easy. The paper towel makes it real convenient. It gives you a good grip, and that's it. I'm just going to show you on one rack. I got to show you doing three, but we're going to season them all the same. And what I'm going to take is some of my um, my uh, pork rub that I make myself, which I'll put in the description below. It has some uh, brown sugar, garlic, salt, pepper, um, onion powder, little uh, chili pepper, a little bit of everything. So that's what I'm going to use. A little heat, a little sweet. We're going to use it on these. So all going to be seasoned the same. Guys, make sure you get a nice even coat on both sides. Don't get any, uh, don't leave any empty spots. Just put a nice even coat on both sides of the ribs. It's going to make them turn out great. Okay, it's time to get the uh, Kamado Joe fired up. Going to light up three fire starters. I've got it filled with some Kamado Joe big block charcoal. And then next we're going to light uh, some briquettes in the uh, chimney starter for the pit barrel cooker. And then we're going to go ahead and crank up our camp chef pellet grill to 275. It's loaded with some pecan pellets. All right, all my uh, grills are all up to temp and I'm going to got my ribs out of the fridge, put a little bit more of my rub on there. They're looking pretty good. And one of the things I have to do is get this hook on one of the racks for the pit barrel cooker. So you see that these come with the pit barrel cooker and these hang on that rebar. So I'm going to go ahead and just shove it into right into the uh, between the second and third rib I think here just so I can hang it right from that uh, rebar so right in the middle just like that and the other ones I'm going to put on rib racks on the other cooker so let's get them outside and get them on the grills just because it's the most complicated I'm going to go ahead and do the pit barrel cooker first and the smoke's rolling out of that pretty good so I'm going to take my rack on my hook here just take that lid off and just slide it right in and then hang it right on that uh, rebar put it back in pretty easy all right so that's in there now my camp chef is sitting right at 270 keeps fluctuating up and down but sitting right at 270 I'm gonna go ahead and open that up I got my rib rack in there already you can see that so I'm gonna take one rack of these ribs I'm 
I'm just going to put them right here on my rib rack. And let them cook. Alright, and the last but not least will be the rack that goes on the Kamado Joe Classic. And that temp right now is saying it's around 255 or so. So I'm going to go ahead, open that up. And put my last rack right on the rib rack here. And close it up. And we're going to monitor the temp on that and make sure it doesn't go anything over 275. So that's it, guys. All three racks are on all three cookers. I will see you. We'll check it in about an hour or so to see how things are going. All right, all it's been been right at about 25 30 minutes and I'm going to go ahead and spritz these with a little bit of apple juice Just gonna hit both sides of them keep them moist so they attract more smoke you don't need a whole ton just enough to keep the ribs moist and that's all folks I'm gonna let them sit for another couple 35 40 minutes and then we will check on them again give them another spritz all right all i just probed the kamado joe ribs and they're tender i probed the camp chef ribs they're pretty tender as well and i'm pretty sure those uh ribs in the uh, pit barrel are pretty tender as well so i'm going to go ahead and all right all these ribs are not as burnt as they looked in these pictures they were actually turned out really good just remember they were not wrapped or sauced or anything they were strictly cooked for three and a half hours on the grills dry rubbed ribs all done kamado joe camp chef pit barrel and i'm going to take one off of the end of each one here now, i gotta say just um on these pit barrel ones, I can tell that towards the bottom here, that was um, closer to the uh, fire, they are a little crispier. They're a little blacker, if you can see that. Yeah. They are a little blacker where they were closer to the fire. So, because they hang vertically and they were uh, pretty much hanging pretty close to that fire. So, that's the pit barrel cooker ones. So that's pretty crispy towards the end. Now here in the middle and towards the top, they look pretty good. And this is the Camp Chef one. This end's kind of meaty. And they're a little toasty on this end, which is kind of the thinner end. And the Kamado Joe ones are kind of crispy on this end too because it's the thinner end. So I'm going to take a cut off the Kamado Joe. You can see Got pretty decent smoke ring on there. Still juicy. Nice color. This is the Camp Chef. This one's kind of a fattier one. Get a piece, get a better looking piece here. That's a little bit better. Not much smoke ring on the Camp Chef ones. So, I mean, still pretty juicy. Still got a nice crust on it. What well, hasn't come off with the fat? Let's see if I can get a thicker slice of the pit barrel. Get one of these in the middle here. Yeah. I see. This actually looks pretty good on the pit barrel one. That's got a pretty good smoke ring on it pretty much almost all smoke ring and nice uh, nice color nice bark I said I don't know it might be these this rack of ribs because it is pretty thin down here towards this end like I said that is the end that was sitting closer to the fire so it is pretty crispy tasty but crispy so let me give a mm, 
That is pretty chewy. <laughs> I'm going to taste this one here. I'll do the pit barrel one first. And I'll, I'll get it the one that was closer to the top that's got more of a smoke ring, just to see. Mm. That is pretty good. Still juicy, very tender. It's not, um, it's not fall off the bone, pulled off the bone, but very tender. I'm grab this one from the camp chef. And like I said, not a lot of smoke ring on this. You know, the pellet grills don't produce a ton of smoke. Mm. But still pretty good. Mm. Still very tender, juicy. Not as much smoke flavor as the uh, pit barrel. It's more like a hint of smoke. <clears throat> But very good, very juicy, very tender. You can really taste the rub and the seasoning. But just not a real strong smoke flavor. Now, still pretty good, but I'm going to try the Kamado Joe one. Like I said, this one on the end, this one looks kind of perfect. It's not too much smoke ring. It's nice and juicy. This one's nice. It's got a nice bark color to it. All the way through the whole rack. Mm. Mm. And that is probably about a perfect competition style rib where it's not fall off the bone. It's got a nice pull to it. It's not tough. It's not you know, super, super tender. It's just right. Like I said the smoke ring on this is about perfect. The bark is perfect on it. The color is is perfect. Juiciness is perfect. So, out of these three, they're all good. Good smoke flavor on the Kamado Joe. Good smoke flavor on the Pit Barrel. Some smoke flavor on the Camp Chef. Not a ton. Didn't expect it because I know how pit uh, and how pellet grills work. <clears throat> they all did a good job. Um, I think the Kamado Joe uh, overall did the best job because it's cooked evenly throughout the whole rack. The pit barrel did cook a little bit more on the uh, towards the bottom where it's closer to the fire. But overall, they're really good. All three of them are really good. I wouldn't throw any of them out. Try it at home, guys. Try any three of those cookers and you're going to be happy. The Pit Barrel Junior is great for ribs and chicken. The uh, Camp Chef, you can cook just about anything on it, as well as the Kamado Joe. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again.